When I quit teaching and joined the CIA, I thought I was gonna be this amazing spy, and I'm still just the same boring person I was. You play it too safe. I just hear my mom's voice. Just blend in, let somebody else win. Making a wave isn't always brave. Brilliant. Give up on your dreams, Susan. Just to write that in my lunchbox. You, we, we know, everyone knows you're hilarious, but like, did you know that he was so funny before working together? I mean, I've said this before, but I thought from Lock Stock, you saw that humor, and and I think we met on a, uh, didn't, didn't we talk about that? I think I met you on like The Tonight Show for like 14 seconds. For a second, yeah. Yeah, and he was really funny. Look, when the cameras went off, he was really, really nice and chatty. And when Paul was like, he, Paul has been obsessing about doing something with him for a long time. And we met before we started and it was like, oh, that's gonna be great. Like the more intense he got, the funnier and funnier it got, so. It was so great. And just the way y'all interacted together. Did you give her action tips? And did you give him comedic <laughs> tips? I know y'all can, you know, you can do it all. But I'm just no, saying. Never. <laughs> hey, right, no. never. I can honestly say that the action in this film is as good as it ever gets. He's a wannabe stuntman. And was yeah. you know was, was gearing himself up for a, for being in that, and he's really physical himself. He's obsessed with action. Obviously, he's got a great love of you know comedy as well. And I think having that fascination with action just wanted him to do quality like hardcore yeah. action. So the fights are real, the stunts are really real. Who walked away with the most war wounds between the two of you? <laughs> I think I got a couple of little <laughs> tweaks, didn't I? Obviously, men ain't felt that well. <laughs> Okay, guys, I want to know your spy name. I guess it's your pet, your first pet, this and then a, your street name. It's a porn name, by the way, isn't it? it well, really is. we're just going to really call is. it the spy name. Sure. Okay. So mine is Biz Clins. Biz Clins? It's kind of great. That sounds, what that is sounds like it. Mine is Scuzzy Van Dyke. <laughs> you can't make that up. You can't make that up. I'm not laughing because we've said it 18 times yeah. already. Well, you, well, you tell me you tell me yours because I haven't heard it yet. Uh, Jasper Edwards. Okay, Jasper Edwards. Very good. Tuna Puss Troughton. Uh, wait, what? That is just <laughs> the best. <laughs> and all when you're the it? tuna, the trout, is the whole so thing. Weird. Mine would be Ollie Elmswater. Y'all's are much better than mine. Okay. Mine is just blah. I think yours are the best. Mine's the least weird, that's all I know. <laughs> I want to know the last sexy and reckless thing you've done. That was a line in the movie. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything sexy in my life. Wearing high heels? High that heels. Sexy, yeah. reckless. I try to not do the high heels. I've yeah. never done high heels. No? No. Well, I'm six foot one anyway, so okay. that would be sexy but reckless. That would Maybe be. Maybe if I became six foot five. Reckless is like, I haven't flossed in days. <laughs> that is reckless. That's Just asking for cavities. Yeah. And if you had to give each other, if you both had to go away, you had to change your identity and get out of the country, what would your identity be? I don't know. Maybe like a, uh, like a magician. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Was you suddenly have to get really good at tricks and stuff. I don't, I, it would involve a wig. Obviously, yeah, and a disguise would come in handy, yeah. wouldn't it? Caftan and a turban. I would have to leave it at that. Okay. I don't want to give it away. Because <laughs> right. then when, when the shit goes down and I gotta get out of here, you're gonna know what I look like. Okay, well, I won't tell anybody. You really think you're ready for the field?